Well, ladies and gentlemen, Matt Thompson here at Authentic Performance Center in Denver, Colorado, here with head strength coach and owner Joel Rather. Uh, Joel, you helped write the article, Taking Rotational Training to the Next Level in SCA Coach. Right. Tell us a little bit about your approach to rotational training. Well, in most of our athletic and recreational activities, there's going to be some component of rotation that's usually involved in that, whether that's swinging, hitting, throwing. So we have to understand the complexities within our body, um, the amount of, of harmony and dynamics that have to go into creating and developing good rotational components. And so through the use of all of our implements, the things that we have at our capacity within our facility, we want to use a systems and progression based approach to that and how we develop not only effective rotation, but powerful rotation in a safe environment. Perfect. Uh, we're going to have Joel walk us through a quick demo of a progression you can use for rotational training. Okay. So we're going to start with this in a kneeling position, and this is going to be our base level progression through what we call our CHOP series. Uh, so Nick is going to help us out through this. Um, we start from a kneeling position, so we're going to kind of start lower to the ground. Um, we're going to progress our way up. We're going to go through these from a couple different stances. Uh, you'll notice that he's really extended at the hip, so I always say I want you tall through the hip. He's basically going to chop down from high to low from here in a nice controlled manner, coming down and across. And what we want to see is for him to have that hip, torso, uh, and lower half pretty stable. I always say I want you to think about being anchored in and that most of the rotation is happening from the top half as he turns and rotates. So Nick's doing a great job from there. Now, if we take that and progress, the next of this is going to be to have him come to a standing position. I'll take the plank out. He's just going to go even stance, um, which is going to allow him to be fairly stable. Nice athletic position. And now he's going to do the exact same motion from there, chopping nice and controlled, coming down and across. And again, you'll notice he's doing a really nice job keeping that lower half um, anchored in. And all the rotation is coming up from this top end here, where, which is where we want it. The next progression of this is going to be to take that into a lunge position. So Nick's going to go right leg back. We're going to take a little bit of his stability away from here, and now he's going to go through that same chop motion, but what we want to see here is for him to challenge that position a little bit. You can see that it's a little bit more difficult from this position, and that he has to work a little harder to maintain that chop um, through that range of motion from the lunge position. Okay? Now, the last part of this progression is going to be is I'm going to have him face the cable and what he's going to do is we're going to have him drop step towards, the, towards you and now he's going to chop down towards his instep on the foot and then he's going to come back there. So our mission with this is we want to see him synchronize this a little bit. We make this a little bit more dynamic. He's going to drop step back. He's going to rotate and now you can see this becomes more of a full body movement with some rotation and we're getting all the components of hip, trunk, and shoulders involved in this in just what we call a drop step chop. Awesome, really good job right there. So if we want to, the mission here is we're gonna take all of these movements and we can take them through their prog progressions in themselves where we would start slow and progress them into uh, faster or more explosive motions. Um, but what we wanna make sure of is before we go to that is we wanna see them own and have really good control throughout each of those so that they can develop that synchronization, that stability, and that movement uh, in itself before we start to add more explosion and, and more speed to those movements. All right, well, Joel, thank you for walking us through that progression of rotational training. Really appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're interested in checking out more information on rotational training, check out NSCA Coach.